Situated at the foot of the Downs near the beautiful village of Wye in Kent, Palmstead Nurseries is one of the UK's leading suppliers of trees, shrubs and perennial plants. Set up in 1968 by John Langman, the nursery has grown to fill a 53 hectare site. Annual production has increased to in excess of 1 million containers and 100,000 field grown trees and shrubs. So what are the secrets of the nursery's success? This film, commissioned to celebrate the company's 50th birthday, will endeavour to show why Palmstead Nurseries is so universally trusted and why the company continues to expand. First stop, the Young Plant Unit, their propagation centre. I am the person in charge of making plants, um, so I'm the beginning of, of everything that we see around here. I start everything by either doing uh, by cuttings, by seed production, by splitting and also by grafting to do some grafting in the winter. And that's how we start the production uh, of, on, on this nursery. On average, uh, one person can do 1,500 to 2,000 cuttings per day. Um, so I do anything between, uh, we we'll say, 3,000 to about 6,000, um, but all depending on, on what the needs are of that specific day. Um, if you put that into the context of a year I grow, I, I prepare hundreds of thousands of cuttings on a yearly basis. types of uh, compost. One is a Klausman course which helps with drainage uh, and helps with the root systems to grow and um, the other one is a Jiffy compost which is a bit of a finer mix uh, and we blend all our compost with our fertilizers as it goes through the system into the machinery. So we've, we've introduced a bark topper. Um, one for aesthetics it looks nicer as it goes out to the clients. Uh, and two, it helps sort of suppress weeds, and stops the, the growth of liverwort and things like that, so we can actually reduce our chemical control on our plants, um, which in tow saves the company some money, um, and in the end we just don't get, have to use quite so many chemicals on our plants. Plants from the potting shed are taken out into different sections of the nursery according to type. Over the next few weeks they will be carefully monitored, fed, watered and clipped to make sure that every bloom is shown to best effect and every leaf is in the right place. I do a lot of walking around and basically all I'm doing is looking for something that's out of place so that one leaf that looks a bit different from this one or the um that that plant looks a bit stunted and then then you, you zero in on that and you go well, well why is that doing that is is it the water oh uh, hang on a minute this has got red spider and if this has got it then there's a possibility that if it's on this plant then it's going to be in on the next batch because they the way they move, so it becomes like a detective type thing. You sort of go, right, okay, so this is where we got it. Where's it going to go? Where's it come from? Right, okay, are we going to have to spray? Or sh it's only these small blocks, so we'll stick it outside. Hopefully, the cold weather will knock it on the head. The desire to keep chemical inputs to a minimum is just one way in which the nursery tries to be as sustainable as possible. We, we recycle all our water for irrigation. Uh, we have solar generation on site, so we have uh, really all the electricity that the pumps and the offices and things use during the day has been hopefully generated from sunshine. Uh, we're also very good at uh, replacing our trucks regularly so that they're most efficient and they're uh, up to up to date, uh, the, the Euro 6 emissions and that sort of thing. 
So we are trying to grow here with a soft footprint on our landscape. I've got lots of favourite plants. Um, I think I quite, I quite like uh, the Japanese anemones uh, and things like that. I mean, all the herbaceous stuff on the abeds when they're out in the summertime, they just look. Once we've finished and they're all full up and they've all come into flower, when you look across the bed, they all just look amazing. Just the array of colours, the varieties that we have, all together, it just, it just looks really nice. Palmstead doesn't just stock plants that have been grown on the nursery. Customers include some of the country's top gardeners and designers, and the company is able to offer them reliable stock from elsewhere. The main nursery obviously do their production grown things, but we've always wanted to hold more stock from our selected suppliers of very large, multi-stem, the sort of wow factor plants for projects and previously haven't had the space to stock them so the whole site's been renovated to make space for it. They can end up in all sorts of places. We have the landscapers come through here as well as the designers. Designers will be putting their plants into places like Chelsea and Hampton Court. Um, they have very high profile projects we had some plants going to the King's Cross development. Um, recently, I sent a large olive tree to flagship store for Phoenix, and that went into their roof top restaurant. Apparently, it looks stunning, so I'm told by the customer. <laughs> Working at Palmstead clearly has its rewards an ever changing landscape, vibrant natural colour, a real pride in creating and tending strong and healthy plants. It's a very rewarding uh, work for me because, um, like I mentioned, I am the creator of, of everything. So um, without my team, this nursery wouldn't be able to cope um, to, to the levels that we have. And uh, that is, to me, that's the most rewarding, the fact that we create a huge number of plants out of, out of nothing. It's just a nice feeling to actually have that, that growth of life and it's down to us and you can just start from the beginning and just follow it through the whole nursery and then when it goes out the door other people get to enjoy it as well and I think that's one of the key things why I enjoy what I do. Seeing a plant from, from this, from say the plug going right up to saleable and going, you know what, I did, that's a good job, pat, pat myself on the back, that's a good, I've just, you know, taken a plant that's worth 60p, it's now worth £5.10, 10 quid, and it's going out the door quicker than I can grow it, and I think that's, that's what I enjoy. All I can really say to sum it up is it's not just the plants that thrive here at Palmstead, the people do as well, and I certainly am. The nursery at Palmstead sees plants beautifully looked after from when they are very small, nurtured with a care that befits such fragile living things. Sometimes they stay with the company for several years until the day comes when they are dispatched to you, the customer. No wonder the nursery itself is growing and customers are coming to Palmstead in increasing numbers. Customers come to Palmstead because we can give them an enormous choice of plants that they won't find from other nurseries. And we've got good quality here, and we've got exceptional service. Uh, some people have said that we actually offer the most accurate delivery service that they've encountered. Because we grow the plants with care here, and we deliver them with care with our own vehicles. And growing such a range of plants, they won't find that from other, any other single nursery. Um, and if we need to supplement all right, what we grow here with from our network of approved and, and, and quite assured suppliers, then we can do so, uh, so that we can always make sure that we meet the full list requirements of the customer. <laughs>